Okay, so like I was saying, now we're going to do this Fisher projection problem. And the cool thing about uh, the way that they've drawn this problem already is such that it's indicating what a Fisher projection already show, or is supposed to show you. Okay, so when a, normally you'd see a Fisher projection, it wouldn't look like this. So this one's giving you the stereochemistry is what I'm saying. So normally you'll see them like this. And you're supposed to know that this is the stereochemistry that it has. So in other words, whenever you see this thing on the right, this kind of stick figure, right, that's a Fisher projection just like the one on the left is, okay? And the stereochemistry that's shown on the left here with the BR being back, or the top substituent back, and the bottom substituent back, and the two um, on, on the wings on the side here, both being forward, okay? That's what it always is. So even if it's presented like this, the molecule itself actually looks like this, okay? Is everybody clear on that? Yeah. So this is a Fisher projection. So I've actually built this model, mo a model of this molecule. Get that out. It's too early in the morning. And hopefully you can see here, I've used purple for bromine, okay, and then the um, OH is the red thing there. Okay, so you can see the bromine is back, the methyl group down here is back, the OH is to the right and up towards us, and the methyl groups to the right and towards us, and the two hydrogens are to the left and towards us. Is everybody okay with that? So if you're having trouble uh, seeing these Fisher projections like this, I would um, encourage you to build a model. It'll really help you. In fact, with the model, we can just quickly be like, okay, what's the smallest group? The hydrogens on both of the stereocenters. So I guess what is the problem asking us? It says identify the RRS configuration at the stereocenters of this molecule. So you have to identify the stereocenters. There's two of them, of course. There and there. Remember, stereocenters are where, good morning, four uh, different substituents are on a single atom. So for those of you who only put one, I uh, gave you credit for the one that was closer to the, the value that you gave. But anyways, um, so remember, when we're doing our stereocenters, right, we can't just do them from whatever projection they give us. We have to put the hydrogens in the back, or the smallest group in the back. The cool thing about this one is both of the hydrogens are on the same side, so we could just flip this whole molecule to, the, to its side. So what I'm actually going to be doing here, so this is the molecule here, all I'm going to do to this molecule is flip it like this. Okay, and you can see the two hydrogens are now in the back. See they're here, and I just flip it like that, and they're in the back. See it? Or maybe I'll get closer to the camera, so if you're watching this later. So, like that is what it looks like right now. I'm just going to flip, and now the two hydrogens are in the back, like that. Okay, so I'll leave that like that. I'm going to show you the drawing, just in case you don't have your model kit with you for the exam, even though you should, okay? So, I'm going to draw it in a different conformation, the conformation I just showed you, okay? So this methyl group is down, so we're looking down on this thing, okay? So this methyl group's down, so if we label this as carbon one, carbon two, right, when we flip it, this is carbon one, carbon two, okay? So the methyl group is here, the hydrogen is now back, and the OH is in the front, towards us. Okay, the bromine is down. The methyl group is towards us. 
and the hydrogen is in the back. So just to reemphasize, it was like this, and now it's like this, right? Ain't no thing. You got it, right? Got it, Bree? Okay. Do you want me to pass this thing around so you guys can see it, or are we good? Anybody want to check it out? You want to check it out? Here you go. I got it. Oh, sorry about that. Okay. So the big group or the small group is in the back now, right? So we can put four, yeah, good. Okay, O, that's bigger than C and C, so that's one. C and C, they're the same, so what's bigger, H or BR? Well, BR, I'm going to erase the one and two from here. So that's two, just so we don't get confused, okay? And then methyl group is three. Okay, so erase our four, one, two, three. What is that? Clockwise or counterclockwise? Clockwise. Clockwise. So what is it? R. R. So down here, R. Okay. So what do we got here? Bromine, one, two over here, because what's bigger, carbon or carbon, they're the same. What's bigger, oxygen or hydrogen? Oxygen's bigger. So two and three. Four is already in the back. One, two, three, right? So what is that? That's R. Clockwise, <coughs> right? So it's R. So R, R. Okay? This is how to do a Fisher projection. This is how to use a model when doing a Fisher projection. Okay? Any questions on this one? Every stereo center you got to determine R, S. Questions? Comments?